So you when you used the word America, that was just a slip of the tongue at that point? Yeah, I was really talking about it. We weren't going to overturn. I wouldn't vote to overturn anything in the state of Connecticut, that's for sure. Would you overturn would the vote? Defense of Marriage Act? <clears throat> I would vote to repeal, Doma. You know, to me, it's just, it doesn't seem fair. The folks in Connecticut have the right to be married, and yet then they don't have the same rights uh, as, as a heterosexual couple, you know, for federal benefits. I just think that's not fair, so I would, I'd vote to repeal DOMA. Have you always had that position? Because it looks like there's mixed opinion on where you stand on DOMA. Uh, I, I have changed my position uh, on DOMA because uh, with now, uh, you know, gay marriage approved in the state of Connecticut, I just, I don't think it's fair. And uh, so I would vote to repeal DOMA. Would you agree? You changed it since 2010? I just want to get that clear. Uh, I, I do, a favor. But when did you make the change? Um, I'm not sure. The, my opinion has just been evolving. And... Um, I, I clearly want there to be fairness, and there just isn't fairness, you know, with DOMAs. I'd vote to repeal Would it. Would you leave it to the states to decide, the individual states to decide? I think, it, I think you know, that states do continue to have their own marriage laws, their own divorce laws, and states should continue to do that. What about Chris Murphy's uh, comments at the end of the debate that in order to run this campaign, you need to focus on a tax uh, because that's all you have? <laughs> well, clearly, I have started out my campaign telling my personal story. I have put my job plan as part of my campaign. I have talked about my tax cut. I've talked about all of the things that I want to do to get the people of uh, Connecticut and America back to work. That's been the focus of my campaign. I have challenged him when I didn't think he was honest. Uh, and, and I will continue to do that because I think that is one of the issues that's in our state, that our folks in our state need to uh, feel that their uh, representatives are honest with them. And I, I don't think he has been. He feels that you have not much to stand on, that uh, he's attacking your plan, saying that you took it from someone else, you're not citing it. Uh, I mean, those are pretty serious accusations. Well, clearly, if you look at my plan, the printed copy, the online version that has been up since the very beginning of my campaign, every word from outside experts is cited. You know, I went out and saw it. Uh, the best minds, the best ideas, you know, did research on those, compiled my own plan, put them together, cited those experts. Uh, and it's very clear that this is a, a plan that I put together. Where is Congressman Murphy's plan? He hasn't offered one. Uh, so there's nothing uh, to look at to see what his positions would be. What's going to happen the next four weeks? We're going to continue to talk about the issues. I'm going to continue to talk about my plan. I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing, and that is... I am traveling around our state. I'm visiting businesses. I've been in over 150 living rooms talking uh, with people in our state. And uh, I get a lot of ideas from them. I listen to them. They have a chance to ask me tough questions. And believe me, they don't pull any punches. I'm going to keep doing this. Plagiarism is, is a loaded term. But is there anything that's really unique or original? I mean, there are certain similarities, and I'm not accusing you of, of copying, but, you know, certainly, you know, going from 35% to 25% on some of the tax rates, that kind of thing. So, in short, is there anything unique in your plan that no other campaign has come up with? Well, I can tell you, I have used my business experience to uh, to put this plan together for things that I do think are beneficial. I mean, Simpson Bowles recommended 35% to 25% reduction. Jeffrey Imel has done that. Part of my plan also is relative to territorialization of taxes because I think that will benefit businesses not to have to pay the difference between tax that's earned outside, the income that's earned outside the United States. When you bring it back here, I want to make sure companies have incentives to grow. So as my own experience as a CEO and knowing what regulations and taxes were were tough on them, uh, tough on my company, I've also looked at how can we um, put those measures in place and I wanted to look at, at, at what people were recommending which went along with my thoughts. And then we had an economist score it to make sure the numbers work and the numbers do work. Thanks.